Hey, it's Jeremy here, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create this cool design in Editor X. And thanks so much to Editor X for sponsoring this video. So in Illustrator, I decided to create this cool design. I got inspired by some images I found online, and this is really where I drew my inspiration from. I really loved the bold typography and imagery here, and I decided to you know, take some of these things and create a simple design here. So this was my design that I came up with which is looking really, really cool. And we're gonna make this in Editor X. I'm gonna show you how to do it from scratch. But I really love this chic design, the nice typography, and just some of these little cool little icons and things like that to really make it nice. So let's create this. If you're gonna create it for a portfolio as a designer, I think this is a really good fit. So is you wanna jump into Editor X and usually it will ask you for a template. You can select any of them, but I use the blank canvas. Once you click that, you'll start off like this. Now we've got our workspace and we can start to add some of our elements. So if I select my mouse over here, we've got a blank section. I can start to add an element. I can also go to the bottom and add another section as well. So if I wanna add a blank section or a grid or a layouter, um, that is really cool. I'm just gonna click blank for now and you can see I can have that section there. I've also got my inspector tool on the right hand side. This inspector panel allows me to change the sizing also the design as well. So what I wanna do first up is change the background and I'm just gonna select this black color here. And now we've got a black background. I'm gonna go black to back to the layout tool. I'm gonna to just bump up the height, and go to like 850 pixels. Uh, it's a little bit too much. So maybe we'll go 750 for the height there, which is really nice. Cool, beautiful. So now what we're gonna do is I wanna add an element and for the element, what I like to do is go to add a container. And this helps with making it a flex box so we can add our elements within this container. So I can make it full width um, or I could make it smaller. For now, I'm just gonna stretch it out just like that. Now I'm gonna go to the plus button on the left-hand side. And this is the panel where we can add our elements and details. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to my media and I'm gonna go down to my uploads and you can see all I have to do is click upload media and I can upload from my computer. So I've got a whole bunch of files that I, um, and then once you've done that, you can start to add some of the images. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click um, my image, click add, add to page. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just put it down there. And the cool thing is on the right hand side, I can see where it's docking. It's docking to the top. I can dock it to the bottom, as you can see there. And then now we'll basically make sure that it's, um, you know, sizing it properly. So I can play around with the sizing, you know, I can make it bigger or larger, but I want to sort of have it to the right a little bit as I put my text. I'm going to go add another element. I'm going to go to quick add, click title. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in my name. So this is a portfolio for me. I'm going to select this, click the text, make it white, just like that. And we can actually use some of these fonts here. They've got Poppins, Railway, a whole bunch of fonts. You can actually also upload fonts and you can see I've uploaded Work Sans from before. So we're gonna use that. So I'm gonna go Work Sans and we're gonna go black. And then what I'm gonna do to save it as part of the theme, just like a typographic style, I'm gonna click on this and it's under H2, which is 72 pixels, so that's good. So I'm gonna um, click on H2, and then what you wanna do is click down the bottom, update theme. It'll take you to this, and what you wanna do is apply the style. So now our heading two, or H2, it has that style. So we can reuse that on other pages or, or, or where there's typography that we want in that style. So I'm just going to scale the box width there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bump up this sizing. So I wanna put it to 72. Uh, we can go bigger, so I'm gonna go maybe 132. Yeah, that looks good. And what I'm gonna do is just drag it like this. And now the thing uh, with uh, Editor X is you've got layers. So if I go to the top left, you can click on the layer icon and we can see all the layers, very similar to how Photoshop works and Illustrator. So we've got our section, we've got our container and in that container, I've got you know the text and the image and all that cool stuff. And what we can actually do is we wanna move the text behind my image so I can drag and drop it like that. Another shortcut key is you hold Alt, uh, Control, sorry, and you can press up and down to bring it 
forward and back. And if you hold uh, control alt, it will do. If you hold control alt, it will bring all the way to the back or all the way to the front. Whereas if you just hold control, um, it will just move it up by increments of one. So that's a quick tip for you guys. All right, cool. So I have this and I'm just going to press space bar just to space it out a little bit. Do something like that. Beautiful. So that's looking really, really good. Now I'm going to start to add some of my other elements. I'm going to go back to media. I'll click upload. And a cool trick is that I can hold shift and select a whole bunch of elements and then click add to the page. Now I should just drop all my elements there that I want. So I'm going to start to move around things. And the cool thing about with editor X is it's all drag and drop. It's just super easy. So you can see up the top here, I've got my header. So what I can actually do is I can um, load my logo into there. But for now, I'm just going to delete my header. I'm going to bring my rectangle here with the gradient fade that I made. So I'm going to Make sure that's stretched, scaled to the bottom there. I'm gonna bring my logo. I've got my rectangle as well, so I'm gonna scale this. I'm gonna bring it to the back. As you can see like this, this line. I need to bring it somewhere around there. I'm just going to make sure make sure things are in the right layer. So the vector art all needs uh, the red the gradient needs to be dropped down there. So I bring it up, and you can see the this rectangle adds like a nice fade. So it's the same color as the background, basically. Alrighty, so I've got this arrow as well for some text. Um, Got my main text. I think it needs to be maybe a bit bigger. You can left click and click edit text. You can always go back and like change the text here. As you can see, change the sizing. I can change the color if I want and play around that way. Awesome. Now let me just move this. Cool. What I want to do now is add a men my menu. So I'm going to click menu and I'm just going to add my simple menu at the top there. I left click and it should add it. Now I'm going to click manage menu and now what I have to do is add a couple of the pages. So I'm going to click add page. It can be a link. It can be a site page. So if I click site page, you can see I don't have any other pages there. So I've got to make them. So what I can actually do is I can click link for now. I can um, obviously like put it to a different link or a document, a web address, whatever it is. I'm just going to get out of that and I'm going to go to my pages here. So the top left corner, you can see it's got like a little square with two lines. I'm going to click add page and I'm going to call this one awards. Make another one, call the portfolio. I oh, know this one should be about, and then the home page should just be called portfolio. I'm going to click manage menu and then add those other pages. So I'm going to do this, click apply. Okay, cool. So we've got those other pages and now you can see that it's white, which is cool. I'm going to scale it down like this. Got a good size on it. All right, cool. So the hover color is blue. So I'm going to change that and I need to check it, change the red color that we have there. Amazing. All right. So let me see this. I don't know why the portfolio is still showing up as blue. Uh, let's go uh, change link. Okay, we can leave it as that. Um, enable shadow. All right, we'll turn the clicked uh, off. There we go. All right. So we change the clicked to white. So now uh, if I click preview, you can see when you hover. That's really cool. All right, go back to edit site and let's start, let's, let's start to add some of our text here. Let's just make sure we're on the right break point. I'm going to bump that down. All right, cool, cool. It's looking good. I'm just going to move this across. 
and we can just like align things out beautiful so i'm gonna click add go to my add menu and i'm gonna add some text here now i'm gonna go back to illustrator and just copy the text that i have i'm gonna paste it in here i'm gonna choose type in work sans regular and for this i'm gonna select paragraph one and then just do it again, select uh, work sans regular paragraph run, and then go back, update the theme, click apply style. And I just need to make sure that it's um, a white color. So I'm gonna select the color of the theme and then click apply style. So now we've got our text there, beautiful. I'm gonna bring my text up here. I can move the line like this. And that's looking really, really cool. I'm going to go back, add some more text. Actually, we don't want a title, we want the paragraph. So I'm going to go back and add a paragraph text, which is really cool. I'll go back to Illustrator and copy and paste. And we just want to make sure that the color is white. So select the text, make it white. Now what I want to do is I want to make sure that it's work sans regular. I could do a uh, work sans light as well. That works. And for this one's going to be paragraph two. So I'm going to go update themes, click apply style. And hopefully it applies it beautiful. So what I also want to do is I want to click edit text as well. And I just want to change the color to like this nice gray here. Yeah, sweet. That's what I wanted. Now, if I need to go ahead and change the uh, leading or the spacing, I can click edit text and I can actually um, do it from here. You can also change the, if you want it centered um, or justify, which is pretty cool. You got the line spacing. You also got the character spacing. So line spacing, it's at 1.6. So maybe I want it at 1.5 just to make it a bit tighter there. I think that's really cool. I'm going to press Control C, Control V to copy and paste that over here. And then I'm just going to go back and copy paste this text from the side there. So I was thinking of like this was as a button that someone can click on the, on the site, something like that. And then I had this arrow here. So scale it down from the corner there. So overall, it's looking pretty good. I just need to remember to upload that background image. So I've got an image from Unsplash. I'm going to add to the page and then I'm going to stretch it all the way. So I'm going to drop the image just below the container in the section. Then what I can actually do, go back to my inspector and click on the color here. And I just want to drop the image opacity down to like 20%. Awesome. So we have our header, which is looking really, really cool. Beautiful. I can obviously go here and like change and add a link. Um, I can add descriptions. I can add a link here. So maybe this will go to the page. Um, this can go to awards, click done. So if I go preview and you can see there's a button there. Now, if I click that, I'll go to the other page, which doesn't have anything on it. So let's go back and let's go back to the right page. I'm going to click on portfolio. And for this, I'm going to go add a section. So you've got a whole bunch of layout tools. You can see I can click layout tools and add, you know, flex boxes and um, CSS grids, which is really cool. Um, I've got menus, but what I really want to do is I want to add an, a different section for the portfolio compositions. And then I'm going to go down to portfolio and you can see we've already got a grid. So something that's already similar to the design I was going for. So something like this looks really cool. So I'm going to just drop this in and drop it in there. And that's the cool, the beauty of editor X. I can just drag and drop. And now I can just go ahead and edit this section. I want to edit this text and you can see it already has my style because it's using header too, which is beautiful. So I can type in portfolio. I'll type C in my work. Text is fine. I'll zoom in here. And what I want to do is I'm going to double click and I want to edit these images. So I want to add my own image. So if I click on it, whoops, click change image. 
you can see the floating toolbar there. And what I can do is add some images from past client work. Cool. Now in Illustrator, I can come back here. I didn't put the names there, but. I'm gonna type in text, Macquarie Business School. And this one, I'm gonna click the image, click change image here. And I'll click on Craft Whiskey and click update. Craft Whiskey Society, beautiful. Loving it, it's looking good. So I'm gonna click preview. Overall, I'm really happy with the design. I think it's really cool. We've got our links, nice typography, clean spacing. I've added out my portfolio here as well, which is really cool. I just left out the contact section for now, but I feel like it's a pretty cool design. So thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it. You can check out Editor X. The link will be in the description, but you can play around with it. It's really cool. And you can actually try it out for free, which is super awesome. So thanks so much for watching. Smash the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll chat to you in the next tutorial.